Hi, Red Bias Editor, the website Betention.com, choose Software, click on Download Red Bias Editor for Windows. Press Download. Now you choose the Download button again, a couple of seconds to wait. I do recommend you to use the website Betention.com. You can find everything you need to know about the Crypto Vault. So the download is completed. Now you need to open the zip file. I copy the folder to my desktop and we continue our installation of Red Bias Editor. To begin, we need to save the original bias, just in case we might use it in the future. For example, you can use GPU-Z and save the, your own file. Now we open more power tool and load the bias we've just saved. Now we save the overdrive limits. This influences the specifications of the sliders and their maximum values in the Wattman. Now it's necessary to set the power and voltage. It also influences the specifications of the maximum values in the Wattman for the frequency voltage slider and the powerful limit. The next step is to set the frequencies. This also influences the specifications of the values in the Wattman for the combined frequency and voltage slider in the memory clock rate as real preset. And now we go to the fan changes. Don't forget to press save in order to save into the MPT settings file with the changed power play tables. The next step is Red Bias Editor itself. We reload the saved bias because it serves as template for the bias, new bias. Then we get a new boot message, change sub vendor and GPU ID. The next step is to load the saved power play tables from the More Power tool with the new bias. The new VRAM settings are more tricky. Make changes only when you are really sure what you are doing. Besides the timing strings, you can also select other modules. Now we can save our new bias into the ROM file. Click Save. Now we need to flash the bias back to the card. Only RX 5700 and RX 5700 XT are currently supported. We need an adapted flash tool. So, bias flash. Start CMD as administrator and unlock the ROM at the command line. Now we can flash the video adapter with the right command options. Don't forget to reboot after flashing. If you increase the settings properly, you don't need any further overclocking. However, if you need more power, let's have a look at the Wattman. Here, a limited GFX clock rate limited GFX voltage, power limit locked, and much more. Please don't ever leave me. Higher GFX clock rate, more GFX voltage, and power limit enlarged. <laughs> 